Welcome back to our conversation with Suffolk County DA Rachel Rollins. And um, District Attorney Rollins, many of our viewers, I'm sure, have seen the Netflix documentary Trial 4, the story of Sean Ellis, a local man who served 22 years in prison for the murder of a Boston police detective, but had the charges dropped just before you took office amid revelations of misconduct and corruption by police who handled the case. You said when you came in that you would look into the case to see if Ellis should be outright exonerated, which is something your predecessor refused to do. What have you found? Uh, well, like all of the people that watched this case, I was deeply disturbed by what it is we saw with the level of corruption between uh, Brazel, Asara, Robinson, even the victim, Mulligan. And at times, you know, there were implications with respect to Detective Keeler. Um, Which and, were all and detectives that, who worked on the case, I want to... Uh, all detectives who worked on the case yeah. and were intricately involved in the case. Right. Um, Sean had his armed robbery of the gun and his murder conviction um, overturned and null prost, right? But the possession of the gun charge remains from trial one. And I just believe, you know, we are going to look at whatever it is Sean's lawyer uh, files in this case, but Sean Ellis is not over. Um, having now dug through files and not just watching Netflix, but we have the ability to look at trial one, trial two, and trial three. Any opinions by our Supreme Judicial Court, of which there are four, regarding two regarding Sean Ellis, two regarding Terry Patterson. I am deeply invested in this case. I think it's a, a, a brand on our city um, and not a good one. And uh, as you know, it happened just years after Charles Stewart. Charles Stewart was in 1989. Uh, Mulligan was murdered in 1993. And then we had the murder of an assistant district attorney, Paul McLaughlin, just two short years later. So this is a, 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 a terrifying uh, time in our city. Um, and, and the last thing I'll say, John, is people might watch this and say, oh, please, but that was 93. Like, we've changed significantly. Uh, sort of. You know, we are still in the throes of two of the largest drug lab scandals in the history of the United States of America with Dukin and Farrakh. We have anywhere of upwards of five or six current state police scandals we're dealing with. And three weeks ago, nine Boston police officers were indicted by the FBI and the U.S. Attorney's Office. So don't dismiss this as corruption is gone. And it's not just limited to the police, John. Every profession has people that will take advantage of a system. Um, we just need better oversight and audit functions so we catch it uh, prior to having the FBI and the U.S. attorney come in. Well, we'll be eagerly awaiting your findings in that case. One last thing I want to squeeze in here, uh, Rachel. Uh, you are the first woman and the first woman of color to be Suffolk County DA. There are already two well-qualified women of color running for mayor of Boston in next year's election, but you have endorsed the incumbent, Marty Walsh. Why? Um, I have not endorsed the incumbent, actually. Uh, well, you, hosted was, a, you hosted a fundraiser for him just recently, didn't you? Yeah, there was, my name was on a form uh, with respect to his Women for Walsh event, and my name has also been on uh, an event for Andrea Campbell as well. Okay. So I, I have right. not endorsed in this race yet. I am going to be watching uh, very, very closely to see who enters. This is very early um, in this process. We got to see whether the mayor, has he even officially announced that he wants to be mayor of the city of Boston yet? Um, we got to see whether he goes to the Biden campaign. We have to see who else gets in this race. There are three people I know and respect. Um, Andrea Campbell endorsed me when I was uh, right. a nobody. Um, and the mayor and I have a good relationship right now, and I've worked with Councillor Wu. Um, but we have a lot to see before I get involved officially uh, in this matter. Are you, well, I've got to wrap it up, but are you uh, in any way considering a run for another office or taking a job in Washington? Uh, I am humbled that you asked me that, but right now I am focused on the people of Suffolk County and making sure we are as safe as possible entering this holiday season. I will say, John, though, I have been in touch with the Biden-Harris transition team with respect to criminal justice issues. There are four DAs in the country that have just had a meeting with them, and I'm doing a lot of work to make sure they understand at the local level um, the importance of DAs and how we need county, state, and federal 
um, legislation or executive orders that are consistent with each other so we can have significant change in this system. But right now, I'm sticking exactly where I am.